Hello, welcome to Creata Classes. I am Gurmeet Singh. In this lecture, we will cover the diagonals of cuboid and cube. This lecture is part of the complete series on volume and surface area of 3D solid. Let's start with the lecture. So firstly, we will see the concept of phase diagonal. Firstly, let's see what is the phase diagonal. We have seen the cuboid is having the six faces. These are the six faces. Phase diagonal is the diagonal of the face of the cuboid. Here, if we take this face, that is this rectangle, this diagonal of this face will be known as phase diagonal. So each face can have their own diagonal. For example, if we take this rectangle or this face of the cuboid, here the dimension of this rectangle is L and H. Can we calculate the diagonal of this rectangle? Or we can say, can we calculate the phase diagonal of this cuboid? How we can calculate the same? We can apply the Pythagoras theorem. That is, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of square of the legs of the triangle. Here, are you able to visualize this right angle triangle? This dimension is L, this dimension is H. So, we got the face diagonal as root of L square plus H square. Similarly, if we take this face, here also we can find the face diagonal using the Pythagoras. This dimension is B and this dimension is H. So, we got the face diagonal of this face as root of h square plus b square. Got it? Similarly, if we take this face, here also we can find the face diagonal using the Pythagoras. So we got the face diagonal of this face as root of l square plus b square. Simple. What we have done? We have identified the face of the cuboid and we have applied the Pythagoras theorem. Got it? In different books, you will find the different formulas of the phase diagonal. But no need to make up the formula. Just remember the concept that is you can apply the Pythagoras to find the phase diagonal. Just go with the basic fundamental of the Pythagoras theorem. Got it? Moving further, our next concept is the body diagonal. We have covered the phase diagonal that is the diagonal of the face of the cuboid. Now what is this body diagonal? Body diagonal is the diagonal of the cuboid joining the vertex of one face with the opposite vertex of the opposite face. Means for this cuboid, this will be the body diagonal. Got the fundamental? It is joining the one vertex of this face with the opposite vertex of the opposite face. Okay, this is the diagonal of the complete cuboid. If you observe, this is the longest length inside the cuboid that we can have. In the competitive exams, generally the question is asked about the length of the longest rod that we can fit inside the cuboid. So this is the maximum length of rod that we can accommodate or fix inside the cuboid. That is the body diagonal. Let's see how to approach this body diagonal. So first of all, let's have this face diagonal. This dimension is L, this dimension is B. So we got this face diagonal as root of L square plus B square. Got it? Simply we have applied the Pythagoras, that is we got the face diagonal. Further, here this dimension is h and this face diagonal is root of l square plus b square. And with this body diagonal, it is forming a right angle triangle. Okay, this is a right angle triangle. It is slightly angular, but it is a right angle triangle. Can we apply the Pythagoras in this right angle triangle? Let's do so. So we got body diagonal square is equal to root of l square plus b square whole square plus h square. On putting the value and solving, we got body diagonal is equal to root of l square plus b square plus h square. Okay, this is the formula of the body diagonal that is root of l square plus b square plus h square. That is the square of the three dimensions of a cuboid. Got it? This fundamental is very important. In the competitive exam, question is asked to find the maximum length of the rod that cuboid can accommodate. And this is the body diagonal. All the fundamental of the cube will be same as the cuboid. Just we have to replace L, B and H with A. Let's see the formulas in the cube. On replacing the term, we got phase diagonal of the cube as A root 2. Okay, all the phase diagonals will be equal to A root 2. 
and let's see the body diagonal on putting the value we got body diagonal as a root 3 got the fundamental again no need to mugging of the formula for the cube just understand the basic concept and you will get the output okay further one more concept that is generally asked in the competitive exam that is the relation between the volume and surface area of a cube let's see we know the volume of a cube is a cube and we know the surface area of a cube is 6a square okay volume is a cube and surface area is 6a square here can we write a as root of s by 6 okay we have got the value of a let's put this value in the formula of the volume of the cube we got volume as root of s by 6 whole cube okay this is a relation between the volume and the surface area of the cube again no need to mug up this formula just understand the concept that is volume is a cube and surface area is 6 a square you have to find the value of a from any one of these like here we have calculated the value from the surface area and put that value in the volume to get the relation between volume and the surface area these types of questions are generally asked in the community exam if your fundamental is clear that is you know the basic fundamental of the volume and the surface area you can easily calculate the answer okay so that's for this video thank you very much and best of luck for the exam you are preparing for note that this is the series on volume and surface area of various 3d solid so best of luck and have a great day bye for now